Hey loves, this is Jay from Jay Young Healing, and this is going to be a general reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for March 2020. And happy birthday to us, Pisces. It's March Pisces season. Hey, I hope you all are enjoying your birthday season. I hope you're enjoying this Mercury retrograde, which is also in Pisces, I think. And my Mercury is also in Pisces. Crazy. But, ooh, that relationship card wanted to come out as your overall energy. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. All right. So this is your overall energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Piscean out there. Take the parts that resonate. Apply to your life however it fits for you. Okay. Overall energy is the relationship card for you, Pisces. This reads, your primary relationship is with yourself and God and every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal, or balance a relationship, then, uh, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and love within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. Okay, so what does this mean for you, Pisces? Well, as I'm looking at her on her unicorn, She's flying somewhere. She's taking off. Pisces, you've taken off, going somewhere, doing something. Let's pull some tarot on that for you to see what's going on as the overall energy for Pisces. Why is the relationship card here for Pisces? I do feel this energy of you moving upward. You could be moving on from someone as well. Um, or you could be moving towards someone. What is the overall energy for Pisces for March 2020? Why is the relationship card here for Pisces? Some of you are dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. You're, oh, oh, that's a lot. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep that. Because I just am. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy. Also Aries. Some of you are dealing with uh, Leo or Sagittarius as well. So we have these cards here. I have the Six of Pentacles, the World, the Magician, and the Seven of Wands. As I'm looking at the two cards, the two major arcanas here. All right. Some, some big old things, some big old things are um, playing out for you. So I do feel like some of you are integrating and some of you are, your world is shifting in some sort of way, but I also feel like this is in a good way. You're manifesting something right now, um, Pisces, um, your balance, you're finding balance. Um, I'm also picking up an energy of exhaustion with this seven of wands here. Um, and Lord knows I have been exhausted. So that Piscean energy is, is, uh, super potent right now so i do feel okay some of you are trying to find some balance some of you are doing some of you are wanting or wanting to start a project as i'm looking here at the six of pentacles you're thinking about you know where you've been working on a project so when i say overall energy this could be happening right now in the future or this happened in the past in the recent past, but I do feel like some of you are trying to, um, you're working on something right now, whether this be a, a new business venture or a project, you're trying to find some balance in it. Some of you are trying to find investors. You're trying to find, um, you know, you're trying to, you're trying to establish relation, a relationship with someone or um, multiple pupils, multiple people with this relationship card here. Um, I do feel a change that's happening for you. Okay with the world card, the magician here, but that's not going to be without a challenge, without its challenges here with the seven of, with the seven of wands here. But that seven of wands is also telling me that you're just, you're feeling tired. You know what I mean? Um, some of you could be feeling very challenged, could be in a place of um, trying to, try to get mental clarity around some things. But I do feel like this is like a lot of subconscious energy right here that you're trying to find balance in your conscious, your spiritual world, your spiritual practice. So uh, really finding a, a, that relationship between your physical and your spiritual right now is probably something you guys are doing, but also something that you guys may be struggling with right now. Um, as I'm looking, you know, the relationship card is the overall energy, which you could be struggling with that now, but you also are manifesting something beautiful. 
So Pisces, for those of you that have been feeling like you're in a rut, you've been feeling like you've been exhausted, you feel like, you know, you've been, you, you just, you haven't been inspired to do things. You're coming out of that energy. Um, this most likely this month. Okay. I know that for some of you, it's just, it feels like this exhaustion phase is, phase is just like never ending for you, but there comes a place, there comes a time during this month where you begin to integrate new things. And I feel like that integration is coming from you tuning into self and, and establishing a better relationship with yourself, learning more about yourself, tuning in with self. And you begin to have a, a a defied understanding of who you are and what you're wanting because things are shifting, things are looking different and you're just really feeling new. You're feeling like you have released some baggage right now and you're just not the same person that you were. And you're damn right, you were not, okay? You are definitely not the same person you were. You are moving on and upward, remember? So I'm looking at this relationship card and I'm looking at her on the on the. Um, on the unicorn, definitely moving, moving towards something or something is moving towards you. What, however that is, whether it's you're manifesting something right now, or you've manifested something in the past and now it's coming into your figure, your uh, physical world. Cause remember we have the six of pentacles here and that is about material gain and material wealth. But this is also about balance and recip um, reciprocity. So I feel like what you have been giving out Pisces is now going to be coming back to you and it's definitely going to change your world. Okay. It's going to change your relationships, but I feel like, again, this relationship is based off of your relationship with self first. That's creating all of these things. And again, yes, you, me, and all of these Pisces out here, I'm sure we have definitely been in a place of feeling tired, tired of battling, tired of just the struggle, tired of just, you know, things unfolding so fast, our body is just exhausted from all of the, the patterns that we've had to, the cycles that we had to release, all of this stuff that we've released from the past, it's exhausting. So now our physical body is trying to catch up with our spiritual body. And it is a phase. And we've been in a, we've been in this phase. I, I know I can speak for myself. I've been feeling exhausted for months. Um, but I know that on the other side of that is a lot of beautiful things because we have worked so hard, Pisces, you've worked so hard to get to the place where you are, although you're feeling a bit stagnant right now, know that you're creating something grand, okay? Let's get some advice for you for this month. What advice do we have for our Pisceans? The most important message for Pisces when it comes to the advice, what should Pisces be focused on? this month as they as they're moving forward throughout this year and beyond give us one card what advice do you give pisces i'm so happy about birthday season i love pisces season well because it's my birthday it's our birthday so it's so exciting i'm like i'm celebrating the whole weekend i know i should celebrate the whole month but i'm too tired to celebrate the whole month honestly um Advice for Pisces, please, one card. The mind, look at that, okay? Because we've been doing a lot of work around the mind, releasing things, really tuning in, you know, deprogramming, reprogramming, okay? So the advice this month is just be more open, okay? Be more open to things. Have more flexibility in your life. Be more flexible to things. Things are going to, you're not in the same space that you were, Pisces, so... You may find yourself saying yes to things that you said no to before. And you might find yourself saying no to things you said yes to before because you're just in a different space now and you're knowing what's best for you moving forward. So this is a good time to, again, be open and flexible, be receptive to what is coming in because there are some beautiful things coming in with all of this manifestation and all of this integration and the world changing, you know, beyond the subconscious exhaustion, the physical exhaustion there is beauty that is unfolding for you this month, okay? So I feel like this is just a really happy month. Again, take the time to rest if that's what you're needing to do. Listen to your body this month. Um, and don't feel bad if you're if you're feeling exhausted, if you're feeling like you just don't have the energy, you're not inspired to do anything. It's just your body telling you that it's, it's time to relax, okay? You've been doing a lot of deep-rooted work on a very, very spiritual conscious level. So give yourself a break, be gentle with yourself this month is also a message for you um, as advice. You're gonna be integrating a lot of learning 
okay? Doing a lot of imagination, imagining things this month. So again, the mind, some of you are, you know, you're needing to quiet the mind this month. What does that look like for you? Getting more rest, just lounging, getting more sleep? Would it, or does that mean you tuning in meditation, um, reconnecting in that way? Um, picking up acupunctures, maybe you guys could, could use some acupuncture, just some, you know, um, easternized or alternative um, modalities. Energy healing could be good for you. Something to just help you clear your mind. Let's pull some tarot on that. Why is the mind card here for Pisces? What advice? Oh, oh, definitely your energy. One more card. Okay, so I have the Knight of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. So a lot of watery energy here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you could be dealing with another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this could just be your energy. And then the Three of Pentacles here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy on the board. Someone is, I feel, you might have somebody on the mind, okay? Somebody could be coming in. Another water sign could be coming in. I feel like you're having to contemplate a lot about accepting this offer but I feel like this offer could either come in the form of some sort of partnership like an investment a business partner or something like that or this could be you know an intimate relationship for you as well because that three of pentacles is about coming together and you know being a team collaborating learning things implementing new things into your to your world and you're building together but this could definitely feel like an energy of you um, accepting an offer some, for someone that's coming in with the Knight of Cups here. Because this person, this person comes in, again, a water sign, or this could be you offering something to someone, another water sign, or even an um, earth sign. This energy comes in strong. They, um, they come in as a very charming, open, willing person. I feel like, too, I'm picking up an energy of they're very shy. So maybe you're having to make the first move on this person. But someone is apprehensive, only apprehensive because they're shy. I feel like this night of this night of cups here is um, someone who's very charming. So they tell you a lot of things that um, you need to hear and you want to hear. But I feel like some of you, or this again could be your energy, some of you don't know how to accept the compliments. Um, whether you're just not used to accepting compliments or you feel that you are the opposite of what they're saying, or you've been in relationships where you've been verbally abused and this just is a complete opposite for you. And you're like, you know, you feel like this person is too good to be true, so to speak. And it's just like, you're lying. No, this person is not lying. Um, this person has you on their mind or either you're on their mind, but it's a very strong, strong offer that's coming in. But somebody is, uh, a bit apprehensive about taking it or being a bit stubborn about it, or you're just needing to really think about it with that four of cups in the center. Definitely take your time. You don't have to rush into anything, but this person definitely wants to build together. Um, again, like I said, this could be Virgo, um, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn energy. And I'm going to pull the bottom of the deck, <laughs> Ace of Swords here. So this is definitely some new, a new, a new offer coming in for some of you. This could be a, a new breakthrough for some of you, a new idea. But again, I feel like this is somebody comes in and offers you being their king or their queen. And again, I feel like the reason why some of you are um, not initially accepting this offer is because there's a bit of fear there for some of you because this might seem too good to be true, but the advice is to be open to it to be flexible, okay, and, and imagine what this world can be like with this person. You're going to learn a lot from this person is what I'm also picking up. But this is definitely building together. This could show up in the love aspect or this could just be in career that you're building something with someone, a partnership if some of you are working on projects. Um, but this month, Pisces, okay, baby, this month is all about relationships. 
it's all about relationships. It's all about love. It's all about building. It's all about, you know, coming together. It's all about manifesting, integrating things, changing. And yes, that sounds exhausting because that's a lot of energy in Pisces. You know that Pisces is, is like one of the most psychic, most empathic signs of the Zodiac. So yeah, you're interacting with people all the time or you're interacting with someone else and even just trying to get to know someone if some of you are, you know, out there dating. Um, it gets exhausting because you're constantly picking up energy, you're sharing things and it's just tires, tiresome. So just make sure that you're getting your rest um, and so that you don't feel challenged because there is a tendency for Pisces. We all know we need our me time for sure. If you don't have it, if you're overexerting yourself, it's it's no good for for no one, okay? Because I feel like that's that other side of Pisces comes out and nobody wants to see that side, okay? <laughs> so let's get the overall outcome for you. There is definitely somebody coming in for you. So be open to whoever this person is. Have some flexibility. Be imaginative as well. Um, and learn from this process. Even if this isn't the, the one, this is the next step in your journey of um, discovery and um, receptivity, openness, and love. So whatever this is, you learn from this process, okay? What's the outcome for Pisces? Thank you. Believe in the impossible, Pisces, is your outcome. Let's pull some tarot. Why is the believe in the in the impossible? This is just some beautiful energy on the board for you, Pisces, with, you know, you having someone on the mind or someone having you on their mind and things unfolding. You're taking your time to think about it. Maybe some of you used to rush into relationships because you're just like, you know, Pisces are so dreamy and they can go all, they can be all in right away. Um, um, it, they can move, you know, Pisces. You can move so fast and just kind of jump into things and not really thinking about things. You're just kind of going off how you're feeling in the present moment, but not really um, not really getting to know the person. I feel like this is that time where you get to sit back. This is something that you've learned now. You know, you've released some of this old stuff and now you're able to sit back, really, really evaluate. Is this what I want to do? Is this person right for me? Do I see the red flags initially? Um, and if I see the red flags, I'm going the opposite direction because before I was blinded by what I was just feeling in the moment. So I feel like you've moved past that moment, not to say that you've completely dis dis desensitized that aspect of yourself, Pisces. I just feel like you're being smarter and choosing who your partner is going to be and who you're allowing into your space. So I, I pulled the two of wands, the hierophant, and the three of... I'm sorry, the four of pentacles. So we have um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn here. So believing in the impossible, there are some new goals. There's with this two of wands here, there's this new opportunity coming in. You haven't quite made a move. And again, this is this person. You haven't quite made a move because you need to contemplate and think about what it is, but the outcome is you're going to continue to think about it. I do feel like you're going to go for it with this hierophant here and, you know, really tapping into your, your, your spiritual side and really, you know, not being in a, in a place of conformity, but I still feel like you're wanting this. I, I still feel like Pisces, there is an energy of traditional, um, traditional values for some of you. You're wanting to, this person to court you because Things nowadays, the the way that relationships unfold is completely different from, you know, in the 80s, in the 90s even, um, and definitely before that. So I feel like there's an energy of you wanting to be courted and you need to, you know, think about this. You, you're not jumping right into it. I do feel like you're going to be protecting yourself, protecting your heart, even protecting your assets for some of you because that's a physical thing. But I do feel like because this might be a new relationship, you're protecting your heart. Um, I'm going to pull one more card on that, one more card on this. That seven of swords wanted to come open. I mean, pop out. One more card, please. Okay. 
So yeah, take your time and weigh out your options. Maybe for some of you, there's more than one person that you have um, an interest in. But I do feel like believing in the impossible, which is making me feel like some of you guys have felt like you're just coexisting and the way that your life is now is just like, well, that's just how it's going to be. Well, this is just the kind of people that I attract into my life. Well, these are just the kind of relationships that I end up in. These are just kind of, these are, this is just the kind of person that I usually choose. And things are totally looking, are going to be looking different for you. So you're going to have options to weigh out, okay? You can definitely just, you, if you want to be in a state of protecting your heart, I completely understand that, Pisces. Um, but remember to be open and flexible and not completely shutting someone out or something, an opportunity out. Be flexible with that. But I, again, tap into that spiritual side of self and really allow yourself to come together. I feel like um, I feel like some of you have an energy of being closed off to something different. So I don't know how this plays out for you. It's going to be if I like I feel like it's going to be someone outside of your norm, someone you wouldn't have expected to be um, you having feelings for this person. And it makes you a bit closed off because of what society has said or what you what your values were as, as what you were raised into. Um, it just feels like it's different and it takes you a while to really understand what do I want this? Is this good for me? So that I feel like you're in that position, but but the outcome is just to believe in the impossible, okay? So anything that you feel that is impossible is going to be possible for you this month, okay, Pisces? Thank you all for tuning in, and um, I appreciate your love and support. I'll chat with you guys soon. Take care. Bye, Pisces.